Laura, we're joined in the studio by Dodger legend and Republican candidate for U.S. Senate, Steve Garvey. Thanks so much for making the track in from there to here. Good to see you tonight. Well, we started in San Diego uh, about 10 o'clock this morning. You've covered a lot and, of miles uh, today. We, we did. We visited the Alpha Project downtown, right off the, the center of town. Okay. Um, what did and, you, uh, what was most surprising that you learned today in your travels? I think that because this is such an emotional issue, we're talking about humanity here. We're talking about people who have reached the lowest part of their life in, in this chapter. Uh, and how government's thrown billions of dollars at it, just in this state. And it continues to rise. And then you see um, what they're doing in San Diego here uh, locally. And it makes you think, maybe it is local. Maybe it's addressing local issues with local people because it's about their lives. Uh, and, uh, and we visit. And I want to to go there and, I, and we did today to be able to talk to people to be able to, to to touch them shook a lot of hands today and to get a feel you can see all the video you want all the stills but you need to go there and you need to see it up close so when you're there at skid row and you're talking to the folks of course you're yeah. also probably thinking about federal homelessness policy sure. is there something specific you want to see be done in the senate that isn't being done right now that you could actually accomplish there well, when I'm elected senator and back in Washington, you obviously look at, at bills and policy. Uh, and I'm, you know, common sense, we talked about this before, compassion and consensus building. We need to build consensus now more than ever. I, it makes me think, hasn't anybody played a team sport in Congress or in the Senate, you know, the House? Let's get back to doing what we the people ask, and that's care about us, come see us, uh, our needs. And it's not just about the shelter. It's about drugs and mental illness. And I think these two facilities are tackling that now. And ultimately, people are going to realize it starts from the head down. And it starts from, from getting this mental illness caused by drugs. And let's go back to the border and let's go back to all the ports of entry for all these illegal drugs. And we've got to stop that. Uh, that coincides with helping the mentally ill. Well, I mean, in fact, you recently did visit the border yeah. in terms of federal policy there. Sure. I assume you don't agree with the Biden administration, how they're handling it. What would you do differently? Close the border. Cl what, is a policy what does that mean? Close that the means border. systematically work towards getting control of the border at all the key checkpoints, whatever needs to be done to, to secure it. And people say, well, it's got to be a whole new policy. There isn't. We have a policy in place, a pathway to coming to the United States legally. There, there are a million and a half people around the world that have gone through the process of, the, of their country, of, of getting a start, and a pathway. But they're sitting there because all these illegal, illegal aliens are now in this country, which keeps them from, from going through the process. Well, a lot of them are asylum seekers. Do you think we need to change the asylum laws, make it harder to get asylum in this country? In 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> it's part of a, of a, a multi-pronged uh, effect on uh, let's getting back to controlling crime and facing it. You know, what it, it, it's criminal to be illegal to come in this country. And it's criminal to invite these people from all around the world to come in. And when they come here, they're affected by the cartels. All their money's taken. You know, a lot of times, all their possessions are taken. In San Diego, on the border, we saw a little village where there was an opening in the wall. And in the middle of that village was, was a, almost a, a castle-like situation. And that's where the cartel was. And the coyotes were vetting these people coming in from Venezuela, South Africa, um, all around the world. So all of a sudden, they did have a pocket full of money that was gone, but they had a name, especially this one couple from Venezuela, they had the name of an uncle in Maine. And you couldn't get any farther mm -hmm. from the southeast corner of San Diego to Maine. Yeah. And they were going to be given a debit card and a, and a bus ticket. And they'd already taken them over three weeks to get here from, from Venezuela. And now what are we doing? They're, we're putting them out into our society and stressing our society also. We don't talk about, you know, our citizens that get stressed out. How about the people on the border within, within miles that are seeing thousands of people come onto their property yeah. and affect the communities? Not to mention a lot of the cities that are being impacted, places Absolutely. even like New York City uh, around the country. Yeah. So uh, we've got a debate coming up. Uh, it's going to be the first televised debate. Thanks for inviting me. That you are uh, one of the four people that have qualified, the only Republican on the stage that qualified. Uh, what is your strategy for that? 
Well, it, it sounds funny, but I'm not running against any of the three Democrats. What do you mean by that? I'm running for the people of California. Uh, and if you waste time, and they're, they're going to try to attack me, and, and it's going to be, I think, uh, I, I want that debate. I want you to lead a debate that's civil. Mm -hmm. Let's all of us talk about the issues. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about each other and try to bring each other down. People of California, Californians are tired of this snarkiness, tired of divisions. They want people to lead them in Washington, who are there strictly as representatives of the people and not career politicians, a dysfunctional Washington. They want a new voice with new ideas. And that's why people are rising up wherever I go in the state and say, Steve, thank you for running. We're proud of you. And this is what our daily life is all about. The elected politicians, career politicians, aren't asking them what their life's all about. They're telling them that their life is fine. And by the way, you probably should pay some more taxes because you live in California. Mm. I'm sorry, their quality of life has gone down over these last three years, and I want to bring it back. Well, career politicians, they have a lot of practice on the debate stage. This will be your very first. Are you practicing? How much effort are you putting into studying? Because it's less than two weeks away. Well, I used to go to work in front of 40,000 people every day. And I succeeded, and I, and I failed, and I got up, and I went to bat again. And they saw me, uh, what a professional looks like on the field, and how I represented the game of baseball in the entertainment business. And when people would come up to me and say, yeah, Garv, you know, like Giant fans, we hate the Dodgers, but we love you, and uh, we wish you would have played for us. It was the ultimate compliment. But it means I did it the right way, and I took that into the community over the last 40 years and tried to make a difference in life. You know, the, uh, we have the saying that life is God's gift to us and what we do it is our gift to God. Well, this is a way for myself and our family to give back by the visibility and the currency of, of how people have treated me all through these years. So we'll take that as a yes, you're practicing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He, he, he well no, pressure. Wait a minute, yeah. no one word uh, questions right now, what's my favorite, this or that? No, save well, that, for, like, the, uh, save that, save that for the debate stage. We've got new, baseballs new Garvey you. baseballs and that are getting folks are. Thank, uh, okay. uh, I, I get two. All right. Thank you. Thanks so Thank much, you. Steve. Thank Good luck. Here. We'll see you on the debate stage. Thanks. Looking forward to it. All right. Thank you.